mine in Belgium, telling me that it appears that they are going to remove the pyramid monument that's in the cemetery in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where Charles Taze Russell's tombstone is. Now, the monument is not near his memorial. It's, it's near it, but it's not the memorial. I had always been told that it was the memorial for him, but I found that not to be true. So here's what happened. He had noticed on the internet this morning a statement that somebody had made that the Watchtower seems to be covering up or trying to cover up some of their history by removing this monument that's in the Pittsburgh Cemetery. It's actually at the United Cemeteries in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So I did some digging around. I got on the phone. I tried to call them. My friend in Belgium tried to call them. We couldn't get through. So I called a neighboring cemetery and a gentleman got on the phone with me. I explained to him who I was, what I was trying to do, that I was just trying to do a little investigation to see if this was true or not. Well, I found it interesting that this man had worked in the cemetery for a long time, but he never noticed the pyramid monument. So he said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take a drive. I'll go take a look and see if I can find it. And I'll just get a picture of it and snap the picture for you. So he went, he called me back and he says, Yes, I did see the pyramid that you were talking about. In fact, they have a flatbed truck there and they're digging it up as we speak. And he took a picture of it. And I'm going to show you that picture right now. This is happening on September 1st, 2021. But if you notice there, you see that track hoe and it's right next to that pyramid monument. And there are several people standing around. Now, I don't know if they're removing it if that's true, but my plan is to leave in the morning on Thursday morning, September 2nd, and Lord willing, I hope to drive up to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania tomorrow. It's about almost six hours away, and I'm going to see and try to investigate this and see what's going on. Are they removing it? Are they restoring it? Are they just getting rid of it? Were they paid by the Watchtower to remove it? I hope to be able to find out that information and I hope to be able to report that back to you tomorrow. So I just wanted to show you this while I knew about it. It might just be that they were doing something, but I find it interesting that there was a text that came to my friend about this, and then he forwarded this to me. But I will try to report the truth to you tomorrow. And remember, if we do everything in the truth, we're doing it in Christ Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through him. So I hope to see you tomorrow and may Jehovah bless you until we meet again. Hello friends and welcome to JWReasoning.com. I'm here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at the United Cemetery and over my left shoulder you can see there where the monument once was, the Pyramid Monument. I told you I would try to get here. It took me about six hours with traffic, but I made it safely. It's approximately 1030 in the morning here. It's September the 2nd, 2021. And I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see something. And I'll, I'll explain a couple of things as I show you what's taking place here. So you'll notice that they came and they got this thing yesterday, as I showed you on the previous video and they really did a lot of damage to the grounds trying to get it out. So I also talked to the man up front and I asked him uh, whose tombstone was it or whose memorial was it? Who did it belong to? And he said the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. And I asked him if they were the ones that ordered it removed and he said yes. And I said so who ordered it removed? And the words that came out of his mouth were Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. I did try to record it. It didn't turn out because there's some construction going on. But while I'm here, I'll show you this. I'm standing near the tombstone of Charles Taze Russell. You can see it there. You can see his picture. And this is the back side of that tombstone. It's about 30 meters or 30 feet rather, about 10 meters away from where the, the pyramid, I'm at a loss for words, where the pyramid was. And there you can see that is Charles Taze Russell's tombstone. And I know that this is nothing new. You can find these images on Google. You've seen them before, but uh, that's probably gonna be the newest site on Google right there is, and that is that the pyramid has been removed. So 
I did get it out of his mouth that the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society removed it. I wish I had that recorded. I'm sure that someone will be able to dig this information up, no pun intended, and be able to find out uh, that the Watchtower did in fact do that. I, I have no reason to not believe the man. He was a little short with me, but he answered the questions. There were a couple of questions I asked that he wasn't willing to answer, and he said, I can't give that information out. But I hope you continue to study, and friends, Remember, there is life after Watchtower. I've talked about that. The organization is not the truth. Jesus is the truth. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father but through him. Keep up your studies, please. And my prayer is that Jehovah will bless you until we meet again. We have a small update for you here on Watchtower History Channel. Today, September 1st, 2021, the Pyramid Monument at the cemetery has been dismantled, taken down, and put on a truck and sent away. Uh, the Pyramid Monument is no longer there. We have some photos from one of our viewers, one of our subscribers, who was kind enough to share this with us. Let me thank him for that again. And we'll update more as we get more of this more to the story but what we do know is this great care was taken to dismantle it and to preserve it the point that the the workers there today made is that they were to preserve it that is good news for those of us who appreciate the history and i've talked to some of my ex jehovah's witness historian friends